Hey there Explorer, my name is Dan and in this video we will introduce you to our Wallet Profiler dashboards. The Wallet Profiler provides metrics on any wallet address and is a go-to destination when performing discovery and due diligence for both tokens and NFTs. By the end of this video we will have covered the Overview tab, Counterparties and NFTs. So let's begin. Typically you can click on any wallet, for example via the Smart Money dashboards and be redirected to the Wallet Profiler. Alternatively, you can right click on a wallet and select Wallet Profiler from the options. Another method is to navigate to Wallet Profiler and input a wallet address. For this part of the video we are going to use a random wallet labelled as Private Sale Investor. When you are ready, click Show Wallet Data. We now have three tabs that we can use to explore the wallet a little bit more. Let's start with the Overview tab. The Overview tab details a snapshot of the given wallet, its current token holdings and activity. We also have the wallet labels where we can see what labels are associated with this address. For a more comprehensive look into what these labels mean, please refer to the document linked in the video's description. Under the wallet name, we can see the total amount of ETH in the wallet and below that we can look at specific token balances. On the right, we have three graphs that monitor the wallet's activity. You can view the wallet's all-time activity, its daily activity throughout the course of a week, and its hourly activity during the day. And finally, under related wallets, we list special relationships that are more difficult to surface between this wallet address and other parties. Right now, this chart will only include contract creations, but eventually it will also include other relationships that are not so easily surfaced in general transactions. In simple terms, you can use the Overview tab to build up a picture of what kind of trader the wallet is, when it is most active, and what kind of tokens they are holding. The Counterparties tab provides us with more detailed snapshot of the transactions that are occurring with this wallet. We see pie charts breaking down incoming and outgoing ETH, alongside pie charts breaking down incoming and outgoing tokens. Clicking on any of these tokens will take us to the wallet profiler for the token. We cover this in more detail in a later video. The top labels from Interact and Wallets table lists the wallets that interact with this address the most. By default, this chart is sorted by the greatest to least number of transactions, but we can use any of the filters displayed to present the data that suits our need. So for example, this wallet address has the most transactions with wallets that are labelled high activity or found on BSE. If you are a VIP or Alpha user, you can use a filter to look at specific areas. Let's take a look at Token Millionaire as an example. As you can see, this address has around approximately 4,700 transactions with wallets that are labelled Token Millionaire and with 70 plus different addresses. We can see that approximately 80,000 ETH has been moved either in or out of the wallet address and we can also see the amount of other tokens that are not ETH here. Under top interacting wallets, we can view the top individual wallets that this address has interacted with. So instead of simply looking at which type of wallet has interacted with this address, we can see which specific wallets have been interacting. In this case, we have a lot of smart contracts and institutions. Again, this is sorted by default with the greatest number of transactions up top, but you can also sort by income and ETH and outgoing ETH. And finally, we have NFTs. For this part of the video, we are going to use a random wallet labelled as Smart NFT Minter. Again, we are presented with a wealth of information. We have the estimated portfolio value in ETH. This shows the total portfolio value based on 24 hour median price, or 7 days if there are no sales in the last 24 hours. Liquidity is based on the amount of transactions over the last 7 days. Under 35 transactions is low, 35 to 105 is medium, and 105 plus is high. Breaking this down further, we can see recent NFT buys and sales which show us recent transactions and price alongside any counterparties. And then we have NFT portfolio profile. This shows us the NFTs owned within the wallet. We can see which collections they have, how many of a given collection and the estimated total value in ETH. Clicking on any of the collections will direct us to NFT God Mode. We can then see a snapshot of ETH spent through to realise gains with the actual data below detailing from where these realised gains were obtained. This is naturally filtered to the highest gains in ETH. And finally, we have all transactions for NFT owner, which sets out all buys, sales, mints, 
sends and receives for this wallet. As you can imagine, this can contain a lot of data and as a VIP or alpha user, be sure to use the filters to focus on a particular collection, counterparty or price. So there we have it. Hopefully you've gained a better understanding of the wallet profiler dashboards, including the overview, counterparties and NFTs. Thanks for watching our video on Wallet Profiler. Please don't forget to subscribe to Nansen's YouTube channel to get notified of new videos and when our office hours go live.